Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I'm your host, Vagus Lunari, back with Brigandine, Legend of Inertia. This is the Republic of Gaimul playthrough. Last episode was insane. The most intense battle I've ever had on Brigandine, for sure, including the old games. I can't remember at any point where I had a battle that intense at, uh, at all. So, anyways, what was your guys' most intense battle? Describe it in, in detail below if you wish. Um, I would love to know. But anyways, welcome, welcome in. Good morning, good morning to everybody. Please leave a like on the video if you are enjoying the playthrough. Also, subscribe as well if this is your first time here. Love to have you. Let's go ahead and uh, get into one attack on this round. In the next round, we're going to have a uh, second battle, hopefully, if this doesn't take too long, which it shouldn't. So, we, um, we're going in with the main team, which is freaking baller. We're taking in Farrakh as well because I want him to attack the uh, other castle from this angle. So, either... Uh, Bell Farm or Greens Glade, probably Bell Farm, I would say. Um, but we can connect right here if that's um, if that's possible. So we'll see. Anyways, um, the team from uh, the last battle is it's it's down, but it's not that bad. But we do need some frontliners. This is pretty far down. So what I'm trying to do is to drum up a bunch of different uh, teams right here at Gargar. So out of all the new knights that we got, including some of the knights that have been questing. I'm putting them here. We're going to, you know, gather a whole bunch of uh, monsters together so we can uh, tran transfer everything over to here um, to get some nice frontliners going. So we're pulling monsters from the capital to there is the essential plan. So uh, other team right here being a defensive team. Um, this just moved, so we won't get attacked regardless. However, uh, we're going to be needing to defend this for quite some time. Um, I may be able to put a good enough team together here to take this next round. Maybe even just this team. Uh, this team has been questing for quite some time. But uh, anyways, I'm wasting way too much time talking about that kind of stuff. So there's the map currently. We have pretty much half the, uh, the country taken over. Uh, or half the entire map. Half the continent taken over. My, my fault there. Let's go ahead and commit. And do one battle. And then if we have time, we'll do a second. I'm sure we'll have time. Because this shouldn't take too terribly long. So Into Gustavo we go, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. How's your guys' playthroughs going? Let me know, let me know. Hmm. It's a good day for Brigandine, man. Oh yeah. This playthrough is super, super solid. Okay, main team. And then we'll uh, have Ferric attack on the, uh, on the fork when we get to Warren, so... I'll do that off-screen, though, probably. It depends, so... No dialogue. Fine. Me? All right. You know the drill, fam. Let's go ahead and march. Stay tuned. All right, family. We are ready to go. Let's do this. This is a... This is quite the wall-to-wall -wall here. So, however, we're going to get an early leader kill again, I would say. Null was very ambitious and did a draw trick right here. Which, sure, it hurt a little bit. Didn't even move me at all because it's just three. But uh, couldn't resist attacking two leaders. That's for sure. So, we're going to enclose him and then uh, destroy him very quickly, I would say. So, here we go. 98%. Bam. Don't fail me now, 90s. <laughs> Not high 90s, please. Um, let's see. This one is a good breath attack. I would just want to keep shooting uh, this way. Because we got a demon in the mix, along with a leader. So, uh, do that. We should have way over 100. Yeah, there we go. So, castle heal won't do too much for her. But it does get some big damage on these guys, so let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, no heals yet. But I do want to reposition that, I think. So let's be there with it. We're going to do a spell. Yep. Guaranteed hit. 123. Not bad there. Yep. <laughs> I don't know who's going to hit first, Conrad or the Wyvern. Probably Conrad, because it'd be uh, more accurate, I think. So, I do have two spots there available for it, so I'm going to have to... Can the dragon get up there? He can. <laughs> oh, man. If we do this right, then uh, he's definitely dead, so... We should get him. We should get him. Do you have Iron Aura on already? Protection? Magic resist up. Okay, that's not bad. Um... 78, 81. Uh, sure, why not? If he had protection on, I would just go ahead and say no, but I will. Um, 
This is still a decent spot for heal voice if I need it later, plus Eliza's in the mix. So I'm not too worried about that. I need to, though, mosey on over the heels to the right side a little more so. But we're doing okay. So I think we can stay here. We can still do two, right? Yeah, we can do two. Stand by. Okay, so here's the trick. We got to go here for sure. I don't know if the percentage is high. It's not terrible, but we have to enclose at some point, so... I wonder if Conrad is a lot more accurate. Let's see about it. 90%. Go. Nice! And a crit on top of that. I'll at you, boy. Nice block. Mm, mm, mm. My goodness. Feeling it today. Hell yes. Hell yes. So, to enclose, we have to go to the far, to the far back right here. Um... Which is somewhat dangerous, but we could do a dragon roar from back there. But you could get cursed to death. That's also a thing, so. Hmm. Hang on. I just want to see, because I like this spot for the dragon. I want to be there anyway, really. 83%. Uh, sure. I'll give it a shot. Nice. No enclosure necessary. Perfect. It's actually higher percentage than I thought it would be. Null's usually pretty evasive. I don't think they've been building him. Um. I don't want to put too many over there. I already have like three unicorns over here. So. Let's do this, I believe. Yeah. For you. Hmm. We took away a demon back there. We could start hitting up the arc demon with a flyer, which would be nice. You're in range of frost and curse, but you shouldn't die. And we might be able to kill it with the centaur later. Let's see, 103. It'll take some hits. We're good. Nice, we are cleaning house at the moment, dude. I knew we would, but this is very fast. Right. Uh, that's the spot there. 43. Oh, five. <clears throat> nope. Good. Could react Kate. Hmm. Or I could react Eliza for two flame attacks. There's options. Or I could just do protect spells as well. Tell you what. Throw a protect on Kate from here. Nice. Definitely be able to kill the, uh, the mermaid. And then if I do a react, I can either get in there and kill the demon, or I can do a pre-move on the dragon, which is pretty powerful. So, um, Let's see. React is how much? This thing has a ton of MP now. 136. Um... I'll have just enough to do a uh, another protect spell. Okay, I'm good with this then. I'm good with it. So, react on Kate. Hell yeah. You're gonna feel this one. Damn. Woo! Only six minutes. <laughs> good stuff. All right, do I do a pre-move? Be Fatal Darkness with MP usage. Or do I move and try to kill the demon? Get closer to death. 45% crit rate. Yeah, go. God, that move is so cool. <laughs> that move is so cool, man. Wow. Hmm. What's Troop C looking like back here? Dragon's back there. Um, I want to go back this way some more. Actually, no, we're fine. We're fine. Um, 
Stand by here. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Not in range. Close. Get out of here. Oh, you can't get across yet? Shit. Fine. Geno Frost incoming. Oh! I'm feeling that one. Big hit. Ouch. Nice crit, though. Back nightmare. I'm gonna range of weakness. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thought so. <laughs> I respect the effort. Here we go. We're going in a row again. They are going to feel it. The Archeman retreated. Rightfully so. 137 over here. Pretty close. Breath. Hmm. We could do a heal voice for the dragon, but we have a heal in range. We don't really need to top off anybody. But then again, you're kind of low. I might actually do a heal voice from here. Definitely want to do a breath. From this angle and if i do that this one's gonna feel it for sure so um yeah let's do that now take care of it the good one you yeah 182 god <laughs> this dragon is gonna feel it i'm so sorry oh my goodness that is bad news bears right there, man. That is a powerful breath attack. Goodness. All right. We can snipe the demon out of the sky for sure, I would say. Eliza can kill the dragon. Got some uh, kills lined up already, folks. Good stuff. Bam. Right out of the sky. Bang. <laughs> Get out of here. He's almost 30. Hmm. One more. There you go. We have a divine ray here. Definitely doing a breath to the left. That's a given. God. Hell yeah. That's gotta hurt. Hey, let's get this dragon up. So sorry. I put him through so much punishment with that breath attack, man. <laughs> hey. See the corner. I don't know what the hell you're doing over here. I've been way too mobile on the right side. <laughs> Portal. That's just Lizard and uh, Mandrake. Not really worried about that. This is probably not going to hit. 44. Ugh. Bad. Can't enclose her just yet, but we're getting close. Yep. Seventy one. He has the he has a mana stone. I gave him the justice one. I could go in there and save MP. Yeah, why not? Right? Not that I really need to, <laughs> but uh whatever. We can put Man, I wish he had gravity, that'd be amazing. Protection spell here, which goes to, I don't know. Mm. We'll give that to the dragon. 
It doesn't matter. Yeah, go here. Okay, you can get around to hit Ginger. Might be able to kill her. Potentially capture the Arc Demon and or the High Lizard Man. Breath and then hit, depending on what the hit looks like. I'm breathing here anyways, but... Yep. Certainly Kate can do 120 to a uh, Sorceress. We just gotta make sure we can hit this. 95. Bam, get out of here. Woo! 13 minutes. We're definitely putting a second battle in today. We caught the High Lizard Man. I was hoping for the Arc Demon, but I will take that. Good stuff. Alright, moving on the castle. Do -do -do -do. And then, uh, let's see. Got a protection spell here for whatever. Go ahead and heal her up, or we can kill Koatl. Potentially capture it if Ivan stays. He might. He has heals left. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll try to capture more. Why not? I I just missed the feature so much, you know. <laughs> He's gonna get a castle heal. Um, let's see. Yep. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. 89. Okay, respect. Ooh, a counter crit. Hello. Nope. Never gonna happen. That's fine. Oh, he retreated. Oh, man. I actually thought he would stay and be stubborn, but... Maybe the Dragon Roar uh, influenced it, because usually they stick around if they have a lot of MP left. He had one heal left, but wasn't enough. That's okay. Sweet victory. Easy win. Show me that screen. Whoops. I almost missed that. I passed through the screen by accident. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Got it just in time. Okay. For a rune knight that spent most of their life fighting, finding a moment's peace was like a soothing balm to their souls. There's that uh, melody that Darian was playing earlier. The alacrity of Eliza's advance led to her knights feeling more and more fatigued by the day. Oh, he was playing. I looked up that term. That term, Valero. As an instrument. And it doesn't exist. I thought it actually might exist. Oh, he's playing a different tune? No, that's the same one. <laughs> but, you know, I'll humor you for now, so... What does that mean? Oh. That's really good. That's really good. I like that. So it's interesting because of, you know, when, when I see the word freedom, I instantly think Shinobi Tribe, right? But you got to think it's the Barrettes and not Shinobi Tribe or not the um the whole country of glory or whatever. So this is just the Barrettes or black or, or Blackbirds, maybe. <gasps> Hold up. <laughs> I hate it when it goes black like that just because I figure there's going to be a graphic coming up that I need a thumbnail for. 
Within the melody were the heart-rending hopes of the Barret fairies following the rules foisted upon them by Norzalio and Gaimul. Yep. Barely caught that one. That is beautiful, by the way. She's dancing to his melody. Yo, I knew it would happen at some point. Very cool. By the way, Valero does sound like a string instrument, like he's playing. You know, it looks like a guitar or sitar. But uh, I want to see like a full screenshot of just the instrument. That would be really cool. And before she knew it, Eliza was overwhelmed by the force of the music itself and began to dance. Darian appeared unsurprised by Eliza and instead seemed to adjust the rhythm of his valero to match her steps. Bravo! <laughs> ついダリアンのバレロがあまりに素敵だったものだ。まるで国立劇場のプリマドンナジルというダンサーのようでしたわ。え？ジジル？エルザ様のようにお忙しい方がご存じないのは無理ないですわ。You don't know that her that she's Jill。私もダリアンも警備に駆り出された時に一度だけ見たことがあるんです。まるで。I think I think Kate's being like coy and she actually knows. So. So Kate's <laughs> You know, like, Kate at first appeared to me as, like, a very serious knight. It's kind of like, um, Samarius is, or like, you, you know the drill, like, uh, who else can I compare it to? Very serious. Um, I can't really think right now, but you, you know what I mean. Very serious knight, kind of like Darian, really, but a female version. I thought she was going to be like that, but no, she's like Peppy, like Sylvie and stuff like that. It's pretty interesting. So she she threw me for a loop as when I first uh, heard her speak like this. Anyways, anyways. Tashkani.踊りがうまいかがともかく。そのギャップはあるかも。本当。ダリアンは笑うようになった。やめないか。ケイ。あら。てれなくたっていいじゃん。<laughs> <laughs> Dower Darian? Dower? Never seen that word before. ちっちゃい頃から一緒に過ごしてきた私は驚きだよ。でもダリアンの笑顔は人をほっとさせるわ。多分悲しい時に。ダリアンの笑顔を見たら、なんだそうか。悲しくても笑顔でいていいんだねって。だってさ、ダリアン、これって最高の褒め言葉。っていうか、もしかしたらエルザ様、今の告白だったんじゃないですか？ Yeah, I'm seeing some uh. Some love interest here for sure. Awesome scene. That's definitely the thumbnail for sure. So, and I think I know what the title is. All right, cool. Excellent. All right, so that's just one battle. It wasn't that long, and we had a couple of scenes there, but we have time for one more. So, uh, which is probably going to be the main team again against uh, Gustavo over here. But I do have a little bit more organization to do to um, get some get, get the teams down here that were just completely trounced last episode and fill it back up. So I brought the uh, the Man of Miracle Dragon over here along with the Iron Golem we had uh, caught on the uh, Rosalian last fight. Yeah. I don't know why I'm, my sentence structure is so bad right now. <laughs> the final battle of Norzalio. There you go. So I'll maneuver this and get Faye questing over at Gargar because he quests well at the um, the secret location. 
So he's going over there for sure. And um, we'll keep this team and see what we can drum up over here. Um, I might wait one more turn. It depends on what it looks like, but we'll see. Anyways, let me get to work and I will see you at the next attack phase. Stay tuned. All right, fam, one more battle for today. We are going north to Green's Glade with the main team, and Ferris going to go ahead and get himself injured over at Bell Farm so we can recruit Will on the following turn. Let's go ahead and get it. I'm ready. <clears throat> we'll see if we get any defensive battles uh, afterwards. We haven't got one defensive battle yet this playthrough, so our defensive uh, teams have been looking really, really good, so that's why I'm assuming that we haven't gotten those, but, you know, they could have set up for it, but they didn't. So, Rudo could have set up for it for... Many a turn. Many a turn. But he kept moving around. Probably because he kept on getting hit by uh, Stella. So, <laughs> All right. Let's deploy and destroy. You know what it is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This team is looking stupid powerful at this current time. I'm very happy with it. I don't think we're going to have any dialogue here. I don't think so. No, definitely not. Yep, okay. Alright fam, let's march. Stay tuned. Alright fam, we are ready to go. So, I may get an important call in the middle of this battle just so you know, so I'm going to make a quick cut. But, until then, we are going to fight. So, we are in a wonderful position. I am very happy with this one. Because, I finally get to use the Glorious Cheer skill. Let's check this out. Glorious Cheer increases a single adjacent ally unit's attack for a limited number of turns. Guess who this is going to? Our man in Miracle Dragon, Bellinus. And we're shooting the archer on the castle. <laughs> She's in a cross breeze too. There's another red dragon right over there to the left. That's also in line to shoot her. Uh, so we'll see if we can get this with two breath attacks. If not, it's fine. We'll do some big ass damage for quite a long period, I would say. Because I don't know how long this lasts. Uh, probably three turns or so. I don't know. But uh, let's find out. What kind of damage are we looking at here, yo? 252 on the green... Oh my god, 277! Oh my god. I don't think I can kill her with the other dragon with 227. However, we are going in a row, and I think I have a high centaur in this team. I do, okay. I might have to put him in the front line, though, and then get a lucky hit. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll figure it out. But that's happening right now. Let's go. God, that's like the most powerful breath attack I've ever seen in this game so far. Granted, you can make it more powerful, obviously, leveling up all that stuff, but man, that is some that is some heavy damage for a breath attack. Alright. You notice this formation that I got going? Does it look familiar? <laughs> to the veteran players, at least. So, newer players may not know so much, but veteran players are sure to recognize this formation right here. So, at least to some degree. Alright, I do have a centaur. Okay, I still need to see the damage on this one. What are we looking at? Nope. I, not quite. We can definitely kill her if I hit her with a centaur, but that's basically it. There's the call. Okay, so one moment, please. Okay, sorry about that interruption there. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this leader kill. I'm very excited about that. So is this... <laughs> is this even possible, I wonder? Because that right there, I hate like putting the centaur in the front. But, 70%, Ugh. It ain't worth it to me, fam. It really isn't. So, we're going to have to find another way to try and do it. Um, that's tricky. I'm going to have to react uh, Kate, it seems. I can get around there and uh, react and then move away. That would be a nice plan there, I think. And then her unit can just swoop around to the white, to the, to the white side. <laughs> to the right side. And get things done that way. Yeah. I think we'll take a chance with Kate and Reactor and see if we can get that kill there. Alright. In fact, I could just um, uh, Reactor go up there get a hit on the Elemental since it'll be staying. And then maybe Venom the rest of the damage because she's going to be brought down pretty low. Because this breath is happening right now, obviously. So, okay. Let's get this done. And then we'll weigh our options here. So... I just hate the positioning of the centaur. I would maybe take a chance on it if uh, I could keep him further back, but I can't, so. All right, Troop B is leaving very soon. So we need to focus on other troops then. So Troop C is staying. Troop C is who? 
That is the uh, dancer, or, or it's Jazz. Yeah, the rogue. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, certainly she'll be sticking around. So I think what we'll do... You're in range of a heal. Right? Yeah, you are not. Go over here. Okay. Uh, troop A and C is staying, so I'm going to move it this way. I don't think I'm attacking. Definitely not. <laughs> But we are setting up for breath right here. Perfect. We're going to heal the dragon. Took some poison damage earlier. Unfortunate. Okay, though. <clears throat> he thinks we have a divine ray coming in. Uh, 256. Conrad, how are we looking on the damage? Oh my goodness! Get out of here! Get out of here! Chew, Fido! Get out of here! My god, what a hit! 290? 290! The Paladin Divine Ray. That is stupid. I gotta check his intelligence right now. I gotta check it. 109. Hot diggity. That is insanely good. Okay. Um, see, Troop B is leaving. I'm gonna reposition this unit after I get this stuff done. So, we are going to... Throw a protect on Kate, I believe. Before we do her uh, react move here. Yeah. Perfect. Level 10, nice. Alright, do you have something left? You do, you have one more left. So, react. Get up there, get a hit on the elemental. And then Venom, the leader. Perfect. Okay. We're okay to lead them out of the rune area for now. I'll move the nightmare, obviously. Really good. Nice. Or, hear me out, we can just move back after we do the venom attack. So. I think it's stupid awesome that we can do a magic attack and then move if we have the ability to do so. Goodbye! Bam! Those strats, man. You boys got them. Alright. Anything? Anything? We have a dragon. Alright. So. Uh, move. Back to the mountains you go. We can get back to the same spot that we were. That is stupid... Awesome, dude. I love that. Um, honestly, <laughs> I might just stay back here and uh, do some surround tactics, to be honest. So, we can get the dragon to pincer that thing, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's get a little ballsy up there. Why not? Why not? Here we go. This is good. Excellent. Uh, that'll move you onto the uh, castle hex, which doesn't really matter. Um, you won't gain the heals, I don't think. No, you still gain heals if you're on the castle, if, even if you're flying, I believe. But you don't get the bonuses. Um, hang on. What can we get with the quaddle? Certainly we can kill this thing, maybe. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. So here's what we'll do. We'll knock it. Then we'll kill it while it's on the castle. I was hoping to kill it and then move on to the castle hex, but... Okay. Crit would have done it. Hmm. Yeah. Bam. Woo, boy. This surround and pound right here, bro. I love it. I love it. Not sure how long we've been in the battle, so I had to take that little break there. Oh man, that parry. That's okay. I'm 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 happy. <laughs> I'll take that miss too. I'm happy. Ooh. <laughs> Misses galore today, goodness. Conrad is close to getting two divine rays. If I get any uh Magic pots that I'm definitely going to be using on him. That's unfortunate right there. Or taking the castle hex. But 
We can easily surround her. Assuming? Damn it! <laughs> I had a feeling. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay, that's fine. She'll get the heal from that, too. Good strat there. Okay, I feel you. But we can still mosey on and, like, crunch them in the jaw of death. About to happen. Like that. Gonna happen, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, uh, let's see. We have yet another breath attack here. We're gonna hit our wyvern in the back, our coltal. But we have Jazz in range, and you've still got increased attack power. Or I could go this way with it and try to get him dead. Um You have a coltal on your you have two coltals on your team. Uh you do not have anything worthwhile on your team. You know what? I think I'm going to the left, actually. Yeah. We're going to make it even sweeter by putting weakness on him. <laughs> this is going... He's going to feel this one. <laughs> yeah. Feel it. Oh my god, he's going to feel this one. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. 237! Ah! <laughs> Feel the burn, baby! Feel the burn! Oh, man. I love it. There you go. 110. You know what? No, it's it's a it's a, a guaranteed damage. Go ahead and do it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Level 10. Got a flame attack, and we have Eliza as well. We might be able to do it with just that. So, we do have other options, clearly, like a centaur or what have you, but just in case we get blocked, it's a problem. So, okay, I need to see what we can do here to get him down as quick, as much as possible. 29, okay. Or I could guarantee some good damage. 78, and then if we can do 78 with the Phoenix, then I'm good. Oh yeah, clearly. Okay. Eliza is almost 30, so I'm going to be getting the experience with monsters from now on. She'll get up to 30 as she just hits. So, no more kills for her. Unless it's warranted. You know. Unless it's a tactical decision. Then yes, I will do that. But, this is better. Bye. Woo! Can I get one of the Coltals, maybe? Got a sword? Awesome. <clears throat> Give her a heal, top her off. We caught one. I see it. I see it. Hell yes. Hell yes. All right. I'm going to maneuver you up this way, maybe. Um, We only have the nightmare up there, yes? I would like to use that nightmare for weakness on, uh, on Jazz. So I think we're going to maneuver the heals upward. Yeah, we can go here with that. Sweet. This fight, man, it is banging. Hmm. I think we have an enclosure on, uh, enclosure on Jazz, actually. Over you here. Nope. Oh, almost screwed up there. Breath first. Oof. Feeling it. Okay. We got protection. Doesn't really matter. Yes, that is enclosure on her. Sweet. All right, it's in the bag, fam. Got this. Make some room. Kill there. Guaranteed hit there. I don't care about getting the monsters really. Um. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and kill monsters. I'm good with that. We'll probably retreat though, so we might want to think twice about that. But we'll see. We got plenty of units though. We're going to be fine. This way. All right, here comes the weakness. Whoops. Do antsy yo. Bam. 
Oh, she is gonna feel this one, man. 100%. 297. Kate, my girl. Okay, listen. We have to... I want to get the Kate... Get the Kate with a kill. I want to get the kill with Kate. Oh, tongue twister. Good stuff. 86 percentage. Um, I know I'm being picky. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Whoa. Oh, I thought that got rid of the enclosure. Never mind. We got... Nice. That should ensure the kill, right? What was it again? 290 something, wasn't it? Yeah, 297. We got the kill. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's cast some spells. Look the experience here. Excellent. Do we have one more left here? We do. Man, this team's rocking, man. This team is rocking. By the way, Mua, who was originally a part of this main team, has not fought one other time. Because we got him a little bit more powerful, and then we put him on defense, and they've been scared to come at him ever since. It's been quite awesome manipulating the AI like that. So. Okay, we're gonna just hit you. I would have loved to crit right there for a kill. <laughs> not me! Not me! All right, let's see it, Kate. You are MVP. Woo. Yes. I love the animation, dude. So cool. Hello, Miss Jazz. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you you know you know what's funny? Actually, this reminds me of something. Um, when I was playing Holy Gustava Empire, and she got recruited for the first time, the story bit happened. I posted the thumbnail of her portrait, right? And Apparently, it was too lewd for me to keep the thumbnail on YouTube. It kept on getting taken down. So what I had to do is zoom in on her face a little bit more to show less of the rack. And man, it, it didn't go anywhere. So it was it was the rack that was doing it. That means she has an amazing rack, apparently. <laughs> oh, so amazing that it takes down thumbnails. Oh, I just thought I would share that. Funny time of my life. Freaking thumbnail. Uh, that brings me back. Ah, oh, good fight. I gotta check the time because I don't remember if I recorded a previous battle before this or not. I don't think I did. I don't know. That that uh, important call ha uh, got me uh, interrupted there. So, anyways, show me that screen. Bam! What a wipeout, dude. We caught three monsters. All three leaders injured. That battle was wow. Picture perfect. Picture perfect. Sorry. Wow. That's how you do it. <laughs> Gotta get the hand in there. We finally are getting attacked. Oh my goodness. Rudo. Oh no. This one actually might be hard. 17,000 to 12,000. We've been sitting here since the beginning, fam. I don't know about this one. This one might be a loss right here. So I need to check the time because if I do have time, I'll put this in here. But uh, yeah. Luckily, our, the terrain is in our favor. But still, we've got some serious firepower coming in our way. And I got flyers too. Yeah, this is going to be hard. Okay, deploy and maybe destroy. <laughs> we will do our best to defend this. If not, not a big deal. We can afford to lose it, which is the reason why I took it in the first place. So... He has a dollar with Mua, doesn't he? ほう、お主、生きておったか。まだあの世に旅立つのは早いようだな。Hmm. I wonder how old Muwa is. Don't they show their age in on everybody's bio? 
そのような空ごとがお主を再び戦場に向かわせたか<笑>老いが進んだの<笑>まだ魔法の何たるかを理解しておらぬ実であって実ではない精神が魔力に宿るのじゃ Oh man Cool dialogue though for sure Okay we are first Really now we're above levels on Rudo I need to check some things real quick on Rudo Um I know he's got his class up Yeah he's overlord now He's 24 right Kyle's 22, Gilliam is at still at 20. <laughs> Alright, let me see some gear real quick. I'll showcase this, then I'll check the time. Divine Blade. Okay, got a few things here. Kyle. Nothing crazy. Okay, so not too bad, but still, we've got some work to do. We're going to try our best to form up on the bridge, so that way we can uh, manipulate the ground units and keep them back as much as possible. But they do have a ton of flyers. So, but if we can manipulate the bridge to to our advantage, then we'll do so. All right. Um, let me check the time real quick, fam. If I do have time, I'll go ahead and put this in. So give me a sec. Okay. Yeah, it's as I figured. I'll go ahead and stop here. We'll put this in the next uh, episode because this one's going to be a long one, I feel. Unless they completely trounce me. We'll see what happens. But they're 5,000 combat power above my own so wish me luck anyways if you did enjoy the episode please do leave it a like always helps out and subscribe if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this including guide videos and let's play series and if you want any access to bringing resources like guide video playlists of my own or the discord server that is all in the description or the top right hand corner i am your host vago sonari and i will see you on the battlefield rune knights peace bye